So this is one of the best instructions I've ever seen, seen with a car coming with a compressor kit for a change out. It's changing out the old pandant, uh, pancake style, the radial four um, compressor from General Motors to a Sandin. And check out these instructions, very detailed. Just give you a quick overlump, throw away the old one. <laughs> now the problem, the reason this is getting changed over could not no matter what get the gaskets to seal up properly and they finally sealed up but failed later on then burnt up the compressor and you can see the sand in compressor and right now we're going to add oil because that was not added and that needs to be added uh, it's a good thing that uh, the bolt is right there where you see this tube going down. You can fill it up right there. Very convenient, nice and easy. And uh, let you just give a quick glance of this. You guys can freeze frame your screen and take a look at this. But this is for that sand in replacement, a whole entire kit. And the one thing I noticed that was really unique, a little hint, the engine mounts. They uh, tell you in here that if you have a problem getting the brackets and the tubes in because of clearance problems, that if you have old engine mounts that collapsed, then you'll have a problem getting your tubes with clearance in there and you'll have to replace the engine mounts before putting this kit in. Pretty good. Because uh, can you can see uh, that would cause some problems with sometimes. Now what we have here, is a complete catastrophic failure and if you look inside the discharge hole you can see gunk in there and you can tell how hot it got look at the it's like the seal literally melted oh, where are we at right there that is a seal of the gasket that was a brand new gasket and that was in there and this is uh that was there you look inside the old pipes, what are not needed, how black the discharge is where we have right there. You see how black that is? That's from the discharge of the compressor. So my next thing was, uh oh, let's take a look at the dryer because they thought just the compressor gave way, but they didn't know how much. So I came over in here and looked and said, we're going to need a new dryer because if you look inside that side glass, you see all that black down there and all that debris. So debris from the compressor went through the condenser let me back up here and into the receiver so there'll be debris on top of the filter pad up here and so all that needs to happen is it just needs to be loosened up right here replace the dryer but the unapproved this is the unapproved method that many shops will do instead of using you know a uh, flushing solvent your can of brake clean and uh, lacquer thinner was the old way to do it years ago Back in the days of R22, you'd use lacquer thinner. And, oh yeah, R22 on cars used to be used like just for a or one or two cars for one or two years. That was it. Uh, and R12. So you fill this up with a brake clean or approved AC flushing solvent. Some guys will go with a 99.9% .9 isotope alcohol. You don't want to use anything petroleum product that leaves a petroleum residue. Uh, the alcohol won't leak a re residue, but it will make a lot of water. It absorbs water. If you, most everybody's going to use shop compressed air, but you just have to vacuum it longer because that alcohol will cool down, condensate a lot of water out of the already moisture saturated shop air. But at least you'll get the debris out of there. Because these are three eighths of an inch, these tubes are three eighths. They're not the smaller later model European condensers where they had the small six millimeter. Now the small six millimeter would have a problem getting plugged up with piston ring fiber material that were long strings and they would get caught up in the bends. So you couldn't always flush those out. Usually the three eighths, you don't have a problem flushing out. Um, and that's about it on this one as you can see here you can see that's a sanding compressor that is uh and we're going to do the hoses and that's why i have the hose compression kit here for putting the crimps on and, uh, that's about it all right we'll get back to this and uh 
take care of this.